A problem with many of the affordable Bluetooth speakers is that they either only have one driver or they have two identical drivers, but in a proper speaker, you will see a driver for the low frequencies and a tweeter for the higher frequencies and that is what we have in the Urban Bank 250 that we are going to check out. It may not be that affordable at around 5000 rupees, but we do have some nice things that I have not seen in its competition, so let's check out if you should get this. Inside this nicely strong magnetic box, you will get a USB-C cable for charging, the instruction manual with a warranty card and finally the speaker itself. The Bang 250 looks quite simple but in a nice and minimal way. On top, we have all the buttons for controlling power, volume, playback and to connect this to another Bang 250 speaker because this speaker supports a true wireless mode which lets you pair two of these speakers in stereo mode. On the side, we have the passive radiators which help with the bass delivery. We also have an IPX7 water resistance rating here, so you can basically immerse this in water and it will still work. It comes with support for Bluetooth 5.3 which is almost the latest version, but there is no wired audio input which can be important for some people. One of the really nice features on the Bang 250 is an equalizer mode which lets you select between the default bass boosted mode and a more balanced sound mode. Generally, I prefer the balanced sound modes because the bass just becomes very overwhelming on the bass boosted mode, but with the Bang 250 it is a bit different and the bass boosted mode actually delivers a nicely balanced level of bass with a small boost which doesn't sound bad at all. You do have the option of selecting the balanced mode which can be useful for making the voices cleaner in some cases and the nice LED near the charging port also lets you know which EQ mode is active. As for its sound quality, the presence of two drivers which handle different sections of frequencies really make a difference and the voices and the treble on this speaker really sound very clear compared to speakers with single full range drivers which can sound muffled in comparison. The bass is also something that I like about this speaker because it doesn't overpower the rest of the frequencies and it is also reasonably tight for a Bluetooth speaker in this range. I have been using this with my TV and I am really enjoying how clear the dialogue sound on it. This is rated at 30 watts of power, so it can go really very loud, but it doesn't sound that great at full volumes, so around 60 to 70% volume is the sweet spot for it, on which it also sounds quite loud. Now we'll compare it with this Infinity Fuse speaker, which I had also bought for around 5000 rupees some time ago, and you should be able to hear how it sounds muffled compared to the Urban Bang 250. Urban claims that it can deliver up to 12 hours of playback. In my testing with aggressive trance music with a lot of bass at 50% volume, this lasted for around 6.5 hours. Then I tested this again with a podcast and here it lasted for 14 hours. So the battery life can depend a lot on the kind of content that you are playing, but I don't think that this can deliver 12 hours of music at 70% volume as they have claimed on their product page. So if you are looking for a very nice overall Bluetooth speaker at this price point, I think that the Urban Bank 250 is a really nice option with many features and versatility. I'll have the links to check it out in the video description. Do give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.